friends, boys and girls, welcome to yet another edition of the Southern Soccer Idiot. Today, we're going to talk about money a little bit. We're not talking about value of cards. We're talking about uh, putting money into the hobby and how much money you're going to be spending on buying boxes of cards. Um, I've had people ask me, you know, Kevin, what are my alternatives for buying cards, especially parents that are helping out their kids getting started. Um, you know, people just can't afford a box of cards that are 250, 400, 800, 1500 dollars. Who can afford that? I know we've, we've, we've opened a lot of expensive stuff here and I know that, you know, that people just can't do that on a regular basis and I can't either. I don't want anybody to think that I can, but, uh, I'm always looking for cheaper options and I want to share some cheaper options with some people today. And so an option to buying a super expensive pack of cards or a box of cards like you've been seeing is what's called a hot pack. And now these hot packs or what they basically are are leftover cards from people opening up boxes. Uh, and they didn't want to keep them. They didn't have uh, success selling them individually. They packaged them together and sell them, sell them almost like a, uh, like a mystery pack, right? So for instance, like the, uh, the time when we opened the, uh, the Immaculate Box and we had the Maradona card, right? Let's say we only wanted to keep the Maradona card and we we're gonna sell the other six cards from that package of seven. Uh, what we would do, just you know, take two or three out, two or three out, sell them individually as a mystery pack or a hot pack as this is called. And uh, you know, somebody buys it and well, it takes a little, little random gamble on it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a great option for people who are not trying to spend a lot of money. Great option for parents who are trying to um, satiate, satiate their children's appetite for uh, collecting. So I ordered a hot pack today, came in from Switzerland. Oh, I didn't order it today, but it came in today from Switzerland. Been waiting on it to get here. So uh, I'm going to see what's inside, take a look. Uh, just one thing to remember about these, you're never, ever, ever going to get like super, some, some super duper, super duper fantastic card, something extremely expensive or something like that. You're going to get some autographs, you're going to get some patch cards, you're going to get some refractors, you get some cool stuff. Um, it is definitely something that is sufficient for a very novice collector. So let's tear this open. Let's take a look inside. All right, my friends, here we go. I'm going to rip it open. See what comes inside. Ooh, baby. Oh, whoa, we got a little, little something already. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna have that right there because that, that looks like a pretty interesting card. Let's see what's gonna come inside here. Bonus, so I got two packs. I guess this is a bonus pack here. For, or I got one pack and they threw in a bonus here. Am I gonna be able to get it open? That's the great question. Well, sometimes they package these cards a little too well. Gracious. All right, let's just back that up just a little bit there. So Claudio Suarez from Mexico, Del Mitchell from Canada, Yura Movsiyan from, uh, oh, that's Spartak Moscow. Spartak Moscow there, all right. Artem Juba, that was, he was a boy right there. Is that like his rookie card or something? Wow, I have to look that up. Being a fan of uh, Juba for St. Petersburg, that might be his rookie card. That's a pretty cool little find. We're going to put that aside there. Rincon from Colombia was a lot of fun to watch. Oh, somebody behind there. Rye from Brazil, a lot of fun to watch. Uh, Bundesliga Collection 97, wow. Uh, all right, some players from way back I never heard of. International Superstars, Dusan Tadic. What is that? Nine of 99. Press proof for Donruss. So that's like a 2018-19 edition. Oh, that's 2015. Wow, 2015. Dusan Tadic. All right, okay. Oh, we got a Zinedine's as Don. That's, uh, I forget what these cards are called. Oh, that's a, that is a World Cup card. All right, I'm going to have to put those Zinedine's aside there. That might be a decent little card there. Vladimir Smicher, Andre Kanchiklis, Garcia. Russia, I should know how to pronounce that, but pronouncing Russian names written in English, even though I speak Russian, is, is, is extremely difficult. I don't know how to explain it. Paolo Maldini, the great defender for Italy. That's kind of cool. David Platt, England. That's John Harkes. Is that John Harkes? 
And then say it's just a review. Some review card. Lexi Lawless celebrating. All right. Another John Harks. Artem Maribov. Alex Witzel at Zenit a long time ago. Played at, uh, playing at Dortmund now in the Belgian, Belgian youngster. I don't know if he started there or if he came from Belgium first, but that's actually pretty cool. You know, we are fans of Zenit and Juba there, so that's pretty cool. Akinfaev, Igor Akinfaev, field generals. The Russian national goalkeeper. I have to show y'all in an upcoming video sometime a card I bought of his. Uh, a little bit of a secret, but I'll I'll show that to y'all sometime. Seska Moskva. That's one of the big teams there in uh, Russia in the capital. Oh, very cool. A little messy there. Fantastic finishers. Whoa! Don't fall down there, messy. Very cool. Is that 2015? Yeah, these are 2015. Also, so we got a little messy out of this pack. That's probably that's kind of cool. Jackson Martinez, Derby matchups. Jackson Martinez from Porto and Julio Cesar from uh, Benfica in Portugal. Jackson Martinez, the Colombian, I think he plays like in China now or something like that. Julio Cesar is retired now, I believe. Uh, Philip Mexis, I'm not sure how to say his name, plays at uh, AC Milan there. Clean sheets, Iker Casillas, the Real Madrid great there. Well, that's kind of an interesting little pack. That's a kind of fun little start. All right. Let's see what's in the other one here. It's just those two. So right on top, Rodrigo Bentacor. Here, let's... I really didn't want to cut this open. I'm trying to preserve it pack, but... That tape is on there, like national security secret or something. My goodness. There's a bunch of stuff sleeved up. I see a lot of color through here, too. I see that color back there. This ought to be fun. This ought to be a good one. Tell you what, before we do that, let's organize these guys right quick. Let's just put them aside. Why Dusan Tadic is in a sleeve and some of these other ones aren't is, is odd, but hey, whatever. All right, let's put Messi over there. So, Rodrigo Bentacor out of this world for Juventus. Is that Peter Picaric? For Croatia, I believe that is. That's a, like a match attacks or something like that. It's a, yeah, it is a match attacks. That's a playing card game. Maybe we'll open some of those sometime. But uh, young collectors, parents with kids wanting soccer cards, look into match attacks. Uh, we'll talk about that some other time, but that might be a cheap option for you. Sfergi. Oh, that's uh, Kim Kallstrom from uh, Sweden. Got his patch card last time. There's a Luis Suarez. Antonio Cassano, striker. That's a weird card. What is that? That's a that's really thick. Futura, unique. Okay, I have not seen any Futura cards yet. I do have one ordered, but I have not seen one of those. That's kind of neat. Uh, Leighton Baines. That's like a match attacks type thing there. Um, the left back at Leighton or at uh, Everton. PK center back at Barcelona. Gorkan Inler played at uh, Leicester for a while when they won. There's Philippe Mexius again. Uh, Javier Nersto Chevaton. Chevanton. I don't know where that is or from. It's in Italy, it looks like. Oh, Trent Alexander Arnold. That's probably a rookie card for uh, England there. If that's an 1819 Panini. Very cool. Big TAA fans. As everybody knows. Mm, oh, Andres Guardo autograph from Mexico. Refractor there, the Donruss. That's kind of neat. All right. Morfio in, in uh, Italy somewhere. Wendell Leverkusen in Germany. Mari, or Matri, excuse me, in Juventus. Marcus Acuna, Sporting. Giorgio Chiellini, y'all remember a video or two ago we had a Giorgio Chiellini. He was looking real young at the 2010 World Cup, looking a little older in this one. Defensive Rock. Oh, this is a Panini Adrenaline XL. That's, a, that's like match attacks. If you're interested in some cheap cards, you're getting your kids started. Look into Panini X, XL, too. 
Uh, Yusuf Polson, the striker at Leipzig right now, the, the Dane. Who's that? Jeffrey Jordan. Keeper. I have another Luis Suarez, just like the one we had. Yan M. Villa, the uh, French midfielder. There's another Tim Howard, like a match attacks. Yeah, it's a match attacks. Fernando, Shakhtar, Gary Cahill, center back. Eric Abidal, like a information card for the 2002 World Cup that was in Japan and Korea. Helton, Porto, goalkeeper, Lucas Venitra. And our final card will be Gomez Bafatimbi from when he used to be at uh, Swansea. I think he plays in China now. Oh, wait, we do have another card back there. Hold on, a little something hiding. Oh, hey, look at there. Lionel Messi tops Chrome Champions League there. Very cool. Well, pretty cool to end on. Now, here I said don't expect anything super-duper expensive. Now, none of these cards are, are anything super rare, but, but look, hey, we got a few Messis. We got a Trent Alexander-Arnold. We got Suarez. We got the autographed uh, Guadaro there. That's a pretty cool little pack. So, like I said... If you're looking for some uh, cheap options as a starting collector, find you a hot pack somewhere and see what you come up with. But I hope you uh, enjoy this as much as we did. For now, this is Kevin. I am the Southern Soccer Idiot. Like over here. Subscribe over here. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.